process of thermoforming is taking a sheet of plastic, almost melting it down to its transition point, either putting it over or in a mold and forming the product. Pressure forming is the science of adding 120 pounds of compressed air to force this smooth material into this tool to pick up this pressure and this texture. Any texture that you could use on an injection mold, you could have on this pressure form part. Here at CNK Plastics, we're a manufacturer of all size parts, from small to large, vacuum forming, pressure forming, and twin sheet forming. Not all thermoforming machines are the same. Now, we've got three different locations. We've got three different kinds of thermoforming machines. So here at CNK Plastics, we are ISO 9001 and 2015. This is the front of a medical ice machine. It was made out of metal, and we converted to plastic because of weight and cost. And what you see is the detail formed by the tool. Look at all this detail on this part. This is all formed in. This is on the tool side of the part. Now, we started with this sheet here, this smooth material. And this is what it created because of a textured tool. See the back side? See how smooth it is? And the front? See the nice texture? Think of a Ferris wheel horizontally. Each stage is something different to help you get that final result. The blanket material is coming, it's hot. The mold is coming down into the material. Now the pressure box will come up. When the pressure box comes up from the bottom, now we're applying the, the pressure, 120 pounds of compressed air to hold that plastic up against that tool and create that texture. The mold is opening. This part has just been formed. The machine is going to spin around. A new blank is going to come out of the oven going to come onto the mold. As a rule of thumb, the more you manipulate those resins, the more stress you're going to build into a part. Thermoforming is, is fairly low pressure. The vacuum form part doesn't have any pressure. It uses a uh, vacuum to evacuate the trapped air. We do use pressure to force the material down in some of our process, but we never get the material past its deflection temperature, and that's the key to keeping the stress out of the part is the material is heated in accordance with the sheet manufacturer's instructions for the deflection temperature. That's where the sag comes in. What you'll see in different products, if you have a bigger product, you're going to see more of a sag. And so we control that to help the product be as good as it can be and not stress out the plastic when it makes its part. This is a 12 foot three action rotary vacuum forming machine. So what's going to happen? The sheet's going to load here. It's going to reference around into the oven. It'll come out of the oven, come into the forming station. After formed, it's going to come here. This will raise up and pick the part up. The part doesn't fall out of the clamp frame. This moves up to meet the part. And you know what? Two companies can have the exact same equipment made by the same company right here in the United States, and yet the product comes out different. It's because their engineers think differently. It's because management style or ownership styles are differently. It's how we go about from the start of your project to the end of your project and everything in between. Time is money. Here's an example of a four station rotary. On the other side, directly opposite this, is a preheat oven. Then the second station is the full oven. Here's where the part is molded. As the carousel comes around, this is where we load and unload the material. A lot of olefin parts want to shrink in. This is a cooling fixture that's made to keep this product from shrinking too much so it fits on the golf cart properly. He's trimming the salvage off this part. All of this scrap is going to go back to be recycled and made into sheets. Now, these are cosmetic parts. These are tops to golf carts. So every piece gets plastic between them, even though they haven't been trimmed yet. CNC is a major part of thermoforming. Here we're trimming with a five axis CNC machine, the golf cart roof that you saw forming in that last video. This is a vacuum hold down fixture. You see the selvage has already dropped off. All of this will be recycled into new sheets. 
Now, the reason for using this 5-axis CNC is repeatability. Every one of these parts will be exactly the same. This is all plastic selvage. It's the fall off of the sheet when we trim it. At CNK, nothing goes to waste. All of this material that you see gets reground and turned back into sheet. There's nothing wasted, nothing goes in the garbage. This is a twin table CNC machine. What you see is a part being five axis trimmed right now. Much, much more uh, efficient than hand trim, but also much more precise. We get a very systematic trim out of this. Okay, this is the inside of a, a leather firefighter's helmet like is used in New York City. Believe it or not, they still use the original leather helmets. And this is a Norel vacuum form part, Norel very high temp material. Most people don't vacuum form the rail, but we do. At all of our facilities, we have a tool room like this. Uh, we can work on molds, we make patterns. If you've got tools that you need to move, we would bring them into this facility and we would check them, uh, let you know a full diagnosis before we take them out to the line. If you need hand assembly, if you need parts that are heat bent, we're doing that here in our plant in Metuchen, New Jersey. These are large drain pans that go in ice machines. Now, this is a color match material. It's also NSF, National Safety Foundation certified. Everything that come into food and beverage contact, including drain water, would need to be NSF. Yeah, so we wanna make sure we pack the products correct to get to you because a lot of damage, as we see in LTL, is happening these days. So it's very important for us to pack it correctly. You notice the foam blocks on these. These parts are gonna go in an LTL truck, so they have to be packed differently than if we sent a straight load. But this customer has a need in different areas of the country, so we can't ship full loads right now. So we have to make amends for that by special packaging. Let me show you the drain pan that we've been talking about. This is a 12-foot ABS drain pan. And these are used on refrigerated display cases. You'll see the plumbing fixture has already been installed before it went to the CNC machine. This is one piece. It's guaranteed not to leak because it's one solid piece. This replaced sheet metal pans that rusted, corroded, and they also weren't NSF compliant. We want to help you choose the right supplier because everybody is different. Here at CNK Plastics, we know we're not always going to be the cheapest. But in the long run, we're going to give you good quality parts when you need these parts, and we're going to get them onto your dock in shape for you to use. That's the key. Well, we tell people all the time, if we can't help you, if it's not for us, if it's not a vacuum or pressure form part, We'll let you know where it needs to go. We'll let you know that, hey, we're not the right fit. That's why I want you to talk to Stephen Giddens or I, and let's have a conversation about your process. Let's, let's talk about your product. Let's talk about your company, and let's talk about how we can help you move forward. Every project starts with good communication.